Welcome to the Transformational Coach Podcast with me, Rona Barton, giving you competence with confidence. In today's episode, we're going to be thinking about overcoming obstacles. This is the last episode we have um, in relation to our topic of goals and dreams. Uh, We'll move on to a new topic and uh, a new lot of thinking next week. But in terms of today, our overcoming obstacles, I'm wondering how you deal with obstacles when they do get in your way. It's something that uh, I was chatting about with my mum when we spoke on the phone a few days ago. Uh, We're in the middle of a lockdown at the moment due to the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, as somebody who is the the special age of 70, um, much like a lot of people, mum has been uh, dealing with this 12 weeks of isolation. And uh, our discussions can be anything from just random giggles to more in-depth. And one of the things we were talking about is we had both been having a bit of a oh, can't be bothered type of day. And uh, I was finding out from mum what she was doing to um, get herself over that, really. You know, this obstacle of being in her own way. And what she said didn't really surprise me because I realise I do the very same thing myself. What she told me is that she just gave herself a very good talking to, told herself to get over it, come up with a plan and get on with it. And ultimately, that's the very same thing I do. Is it the same for you? I mean, I can get to a point where I have that, oh, I can't be bothered day that goes on for two or three days until I get to the point with myself where I just think, right, Rona, snap out of it. Enough is enough. So what about you? When you're faced with challenges in your life, what do you do? How could you deal with your inner obstacles in a way that would allow you to grow as a person. What about external obstacles? When you're thinking about your goals and dreams and you're imagining your dream life, you've set some of these goals, you've made them realistic for your current circumstances, you've tied them into deadlines and you've decided the very first step to take towards your goal to get started... What external obstacles do you expect to meet and what is your plan to overcome them? Sometimes for me, it just means staring it down, facing it head on, staying positive about it, but also being realistic. It possibly also means that you come back to breaking it down step by step and how you can deal with each of those steps. So I'd like you to think about what you could stop doing, what you could do more of or less of, what you might need to continue doing to allow you to start achieving your goals. When you think about inspirational people, It could be somebody in your life, it could be somebody in the the public domain, a celebrity for example. When you think about those people, you've chosen them for a reason, you've chosen them because they are inspirational to you. Think about what you've seen them do to overcome difficulties. You should by now have your notepad and pen with your scribbled thoughts in it. So I would ask you to add to it. Write a little bit about this inspirational person, this person that you look up to, and write about what you believe some of the challenges are that they've faced in their life and what they've done to overcome them. Then have a think about what you're ready to change in your life in order to achieve your goals and dreams. Write those down also. You know I'm one for a list. Get it all out of your head, onto paper, so you can see it in black and white. 
obstacles, I believe, are there to give us a chance to grow as people and to toughen us up. You know, it's a chance for us to show that we are courageous individuals, that we have the courage to change and improve our own situations so that we end up doing the things and living the life that makes us happy. So what are you going to do about it? How are you going to overcome these obstacles? And obstacles can be a variety of different things. It could be people that are in your life. How are you going to move on from that? Do you need to have a serious think to yourself about who perhaps is not helping you achieve your goals and your dreams? You don't need to cut people out of your life completely, although I've done that in the past and I've been all the better for it. I've certainly felt better about myself. I've felt more in control of the choices and the decisions I've made. But it might mean for you that you reduce time with particular people. And that's fine. Is it your emotions that are running away with you? Could it be that you're thinking life isn't fair? This isn't as I'd planned and there's nothing I can do about it one second and then the next second you're thinking wow life's fantastic look at all these opportunities that are open to me and all these things that I can do and choices I can make if only I took the opportunity when it presented itself. What about your job? Do you enjoy the colleagues you work with? How's your boss? What about the hours that you're working? Do you enjoy the travel to and from work or is it a necessary evil? When was the last time you met somebody new? Standing in the queue at the supermarket, did you turn round and speak to the person behind you? Ask them about their day? New people can be a challenge as well but they can also open opportunities for you. For me, one of the biggest obstacles I come up against is myself. I can be my own worst enemy. (laughs) Don't know if you ever feel the same way, but I can be the one that says no in one hand when the other hand is reaching for the opportunity and saying, oh, but please let me, I want to. Where do you stand? Do you stand in your way or do you step aside and let yourself set foot forward? There's a lot of thinking in this one today because obstacles can come in many shapes and forms. As ever, I look forward to hearing some input from you, so please do get in touch. I'll pop these questions in the show notes for this episode also so you can keep track of them as you go. And as I say, from next week, we'll be looking at a new topic. We'll be looking at the topic of energy and focus and see where all of that is being pulled for you. I hope you'll join me then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye for now.